I am Zach Banzon. I'm a goalkeeper and I play for Kaya FC Iloilo. I started playing for Kaya 2014 for the U19s and then uh, I was picked up by the first team 2016. So in the first team, that makes it my sixth season. Coming from Ateneo Juniors in UAP, when I decided to go to UP for college, I actually uh, decided to be a, uh, that I wanted to be a doctor. So I was taking psychology in UP for my pre-med. And yeah, that was the dream for me at that time. And being a professional footballer, playing for the Kaya first team was really um, in my head. And, but you know, I was just enjoying football with Kaya B because I've been playing with them for a while now. And, when the first team opportunity came, like I couldn't turn it down and I haven't looked back since. It came at a, such a good time too because it was our first time in the AFC Cup. And just to go to different countries like uh, Hong Kong, Singapore and uh, Maldives was, I don't know, I can't even explain it now looking back, like just a great experience. What was the next big um, milestone for you there? I mean, 2017, I suppose, in the PFL, you you were yeah. starting goalkeeper for the for the first set of games. You were there, um, starting against Ceres Negros, which is probably the biggest possible game you could be in. Tell us about that experience of being thrown into the fire. Well, during preseason and even the games uh, in the previous season, uh, I already kept clean sheets the whole the whole period so I think it was like we had lots of uh, friendly games and I think it was like 13 games where I didn't concede and I just felt really good um, about myself I was super confident and I remember when we had the PFL opening ceremony and they announced the first uh, the inaugural games for the PFL and it said Gaia FC versus Ceres, like I just had a big smile on my face. I was like, I know I'm playing that game and I was so excited to play. The dawn of a new era of Philippine football begins here today as we usher in the very first match for the Philippines Football League 2017 between Kai FC Makati and Ceres Negros FC. The moment I w woke up that day, like I was super locked in. And then funny story, uh, one of my group mates in class called me and he was like, oh, something's wrong with our project. We have to fix something. So I, uh, that morning I actually went to UP to uh, finish our project for like two hours. And then uh, by noon, I, was, I went back home and then just prepared again. But yeah, I think that game against Ceres 2017 was was something else in terms of my confidence and yeah that's something that I want to get back to. Zach Banzon starting in goal. That is in his happy ball. Command in the box. Galiki Zach Banzon. Get the ball and, because that is your area. Banzon has been on his toes here. The box quickly. And Banzon was able to get it. Nice punch. And Banzon averts another disastrous opportunity here. That was a goal line clearance, a crucial one for Gaia. Excellent stop. The points will be split, Ryan. In fact, even Banzon, you know, had a decent showing at goal. That high came very early, in my opinion. And Honestly, after that, there were lots of lows. I remember two games after, we played global and we lost 3-1. I think from there, it was like a straight ride downwards. The confidence I had in the first game was like nowhere to be found anymore. And I think from there, I learned that there's so much more for me to improve. Uh, the thing is, like, I started goalkeeping only 2014 and then I became a professional one 
two, just two years after. So before I was like a, I was a midfielder. I was a right back. Yeah, I became Kaya starter in 2017. I was like, wow. So even if I believed in myself then in that first game, there was honestly lots of things that I lacked. Um, dealing with my confidence, with just like the mental side of the game, I think it was something that I had no idea about. Like even if I played well, I had the skills to do it. Um, since I didn't know anything about like the mental side and how to keep that starting spot, it was hard for me, especially um, when we started losing in those few games. Even if I gave my best, I just kept learning. And you keep learning about things that you don't know. So when I'm off the pitch, I try to learn about um, how I can um, be a better athlete. So not just like uh, how I recover, how I eat, but also how uh, my mind works. A constant um, drive to improve myself. And you know all that all those things combined just this year especially with a big challenge ahead of the champions league i can say that i'm ready you are in a goalkeeping position where you are playing alongside one of the standouts in the country in, in, in Michael Casas, right? He is, uh, would you say he is um, the number one keeper in the squad right now? Um, I don't want to take anything away from him. He's a great goalkeeper, but, you know, um, even if I've tried the challenge before, uh, like I said, there was just this one thing missing. Like, I felt like I wasn't there yet, or I was an incomplete player, but now that I feel better about myself. I'm more of a complete player. I'm mentally strong. I think things might change. When you look down the road, like, what does it look like to you? What's, the, what's your ideal career path that you, that you foresee for yourself? For myself, I think it's clear. I just, I want to, down the road, I want to wear the armband and lead us to the Champions League final. That's, that's, uh, that's the pinnacle. That's it. That would be quite something.